They say that it's the little moments that come together to change your life. When Keith and Aisha reunited, she didn't tell me right away who this guy was that she was going on car dates with during the pandemic. But I do remember her telling me, and I quote, girl, he has every quality I want in a man. Honestly, regardless of what I saw that day, I was gonna tell you to message her anyway because as your brother, I knew that you being with Aisha truly was the best thing for you. I remember the day you came home from the dance show and you came upstairs and you were like, yo, I got her. I'm like, what you talking about? He was like, yo, her name is China Four. Like, she used to dub me in middle school, but I got her now. I'm like, <laughs> He's like, yo, she's just my type. I love everything about her. And he worships everything about her. Like, the way she smiles, everything about her. Like, he can't stop talking about her enough. I've seen you go above and beyond for the people in your life. And I admire how much you value your family and friends. You have truly been an amazing addition for her life. You love her out loud. And I just want to thank you for loving her the way that you do. Aisha, I remember the first day that I saw you. It was the first day of seventh grade school year in Ms. Oslin's class. I looked across the room and the only thing I could think about was, yeah, she's gonna be my lady one day. I was able to get to know you throughout the years, which made my attraction stronger for you. We started dating in high school and shared so many memorable times. My favorite, of which was watching you compete in your robotics tournaments. Our high school love story came to an end as we went to college, but there wasn't a day that went by that I wasn't thinking about you. Throughout those years apart, I knew there was only one person in the world that I would want to spend the rest of my life with, and that's you. Key. Since day one, I knew that this was a connection that I couldn't find anywhere else. We've never had an issue with professing our love to each other, so I know that today will be no different. In the very beginning of us dating, I noticed how the people in your life view you. It told me a lot about who you are on the inside. You're a man who's loyal, reliable, ambitious, well-connected, and well-respected. I love that about you. Every time we create new goals, you push me to think bigger. When I get worried about obstacles that are thrown my way, you remind me not to take life too seriously. She always pushes the people in her life to be better and do better. You always feel like you want to strive for more when you're around her. Because her grace and the way that she carries herself is so inspiring. I'm so proud to call you my best friend. Aisha, you are the foundation of my love because you are my first true love. We learned a lot from each other, but most importantly, we learned the meaning of love. I am forever thankful for you because you were the piece that was missing to make me whole. You pushed me to limits I never thought were possible. You showed me how to budget my money properly. Encourage me. You encouraged me to buy my first property after you bought yours, even though I had so many doubts. I want you to know that my love for you is unwavering. Believe it or not, you've shown me what it means to love a person unconditionally. We can't promise each other that we'll be this version of ourselves forever, but I promise to continue to love you as life changes. And what I love most about you is that you are hardworking, self-driven, loving, trustworthy, and loyal which is why it was easy for me to take your hand in marriage. Aisha, you have gotten to know me better than anyone else in this world and somehow still managed to love me. You are my best friend and my one true love. Hey, 
marriage is a choice. Leading into this marriage, I want us to remember the importance of choosing each other. I vow to wake up and choose you every day. I vow to be a supportive wife, to give you the space to go after your passion. Aisha, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being his backbone and supporting him since you guys were 16 and you were riding the football games that came important just to support him. Thank you for pushing him to be a better man and now husband. Thank you for teaching him how to cook because Lord knows glizzies and spaghetti wasn't going to cut it. Thank you for being by his side every step of the way during his home ownership journey through all his doubts. I promise to love and care for you, and I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient, and forgiving. I vow to make what's important to you as important to me, and most importantly, to be your best friend through it all. The sunny days and rainbow skies are great, but when the storm does come, as your wife, I vow to weather it with you and I promise to try to be more empathetic. <laughs> but most of all, I promise to be a true and loyal partner to you. I love you. You may now put the actual seal on those vows <laughs> with a kiss. always been the type of person to go after what you want and never get out till you get it. One of the biggest things you always told me in life was what's meant to be will come to you and you don't have to press anything. But in this case, I'm happy you didn't follow your own advice and when it got your queen because she truly is your better half. Remember your vows, keep it near to your heart and continue to love and provide and protect for her. Um, to Mazi, my final thing, welcome to the family. We ain't perfect, but we have a hell of a time doing it. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys.